For a very long time, humans have imagined what life may be like in other worlds. The interest in Earth 2.0, our planet's twin orbiting within the habitable zone of its star, increased as the search for exoplanets entered its golden age. Searches have, so far, turned up nothing, prompting scientists to use their imagination to find another potential planet for life in the universe. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, that question can finally be answered. How will this offer new resources to address the age-old query of whether life exists anywhere other than this planet? Welcome to our channel, guys. In today's video, we'll discuss James Webb Telescope's terrifying discovery of city lights. Before that, do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Since the beginning of civilization, humans have questioned whether there is life beyond the cosmos. Jill Tarda and Thomas Pearson, two American astronomers, launched the SETI project, the hunt for alien intelligence, in 1984. The nonprofit organization's objective is to gather radio broadcasts from space in order to carry out such intergalactic searches. Radio waves can go farther than other types of radiation because they are less scattered or absorbed. They are more likely to be detected by the 42 radio telescopes that comprise the distinctive Allen Telescope Array in the California Cascade Mountains. However, no proven alien signal has been detected in 30 years, despite the fact that the deployment's success aided the hunt. With the help of the brand new, incredibly powerful James Webb Satellite Telescope, researchers are searching for signs of life on the exoplanet Proxima b. These lights could be the final, undeniable evidence that alien life exists on the Earth. Just our galaxy alone has more than a quadrillion planets. There is a possibility that life may exist on a moon or planet in space. In other words, sophisticated extraterrestrial life may inhabit it. For a very long time, mankind has been hunting for alien life. But now, one of the largest and closest planets to Earth that resembles it has been found, and it could hold the key to unlocking all of our mysteries. The James Webb Telescope will be able to resolve them all. The definition of an exoplanet is the first step in comprehending Proxima b. Exoplanets are planets discovered outside of our solar system. These planets now move erratically and are quite intriguing. James Webb was the first powerful telescope that allowed researchers to look for them. They were forced to employ a range of techniques, including Doppler spectroscopy and transit photometry. One of the exoplanets that are nearest to Earth is Proxima b. Nearby Centauri is 4.24 light-years distant from Earth. The orbit of the star nearest to our solar system. The Sun's Proxima b, which was found in 2016, is what scientists believe is located in its Sun's habitable zone. It is possible that alien life is now being hidden on these exoplanets and Proxima b because it is too difficult to locate them. But what distinguishes this extraterrestrial from the countless other planets? The reason is artificial light of course. A source of artificial light is Proxima b. These lights astounded the scientists. They started to speculate that there may be life on the Earth's dark side, and that this species may have more sophisticated technology than our own civilization. How will the exoplanet be studied? The thing is now extremely elusive and situated far away. The majority of you are aware of the James Webb Telescope, which makes it feasible, but let me give you a little introduction. The biggest and most powerful telescope ever built in space. The main benefit of this telescope is its capacity to see through dust clouds on its large mirrors with gold coatings. They will be reflecting infrared light, which will produce an image that is unfathomable to us. One of the first exoplanets that the JWST will focus on in order to make a planet livable is Proxima b. Nevertheless, it must first resemble Earth in order for life to exist there. Let's compare Proxima b to Earth to learn more about its outstanding properties. Proxima b is 1.27 times the size of Earth. Proxima b is 4.6 million miles from its sun, whereas our sun is 93 million miles away. This causes it to be 5% farther from our sun. Do scientists presently think that life will survive on Proxima? Considering that the sun is 44,000 times fainter than Proxima Centauri. According to experts, Proxima b's habitable zone allows for the presence of water on its surface. They also suggest that there is terrestrial terrain like mountains. 
While Proxima is now 4.24 light years away from Earth, it is actually quite close by in the universe. It signals the end of an 11 day cycle. Proxima b will be tidally locked and traveling in unison one day. The only difference is that one side of Proxima b is consistently lighted, while the other is entirely black. Now that you know, you can appreciate what a great exoplanet it is for searching for extraterrestrial life. The motion is similar to how the moon appears on Earth. What research is being done to determine whether there are aliens on Proxima b? The first is that the researchers are working very hard to find any artificial light emanating from the surface of Proxima b. One of them is astronomer Avi Loeb from Harvard University, who claims that both Proxima b's brilliant and dark sides may be lighted by artificial light. Researchers will compute the light curves from the planet and its star on the dark side using the James Webb Telescope. You would think that a highly developed civilization that had existed in the dark from the beginning would have gotten used to it. We are aware that many creatures on Earth have the ability to sight in total darkness. They might just become ordinary animals found on Earth in the future. When we think of artificial light, this is the only thing that enters our minds. Proxima b's brilliant side is heavily exposed to X and UV rays, which is still another issue. On the other hand, this drastically reduces the possibility of habitability. The possibility that there is life there increases. One of the key objectives of the SETI organization, which searches for alien intelligence, is discovery. More than 20,000 red dwarf stars are being monitored for signals. The Allen telescope, another efficient telescope, is used in the quest. Another twist in the story's premise has Proxima b at the top of their minds right now. In previous years, a strange radio signal emanating from Proxima b was found. Despite how bizarre that may seem, the Parkes Radio Telescope in Sydney, Australia picked up the signal. About 30 hours later, the transmission stopped. Every time they rotated the antenna away from Proxima Centauri, the signal was lost. This enigmatic, unusual signal is the cause of everyone's obsession with Proxima b. Why then shouldn't they be? An unusual, unnamed signal has never before been directed toward Earth. Proxima b has to be investigated as an exoplanet immediately. They'll dispatch a nanocraft to look into it. Because of this, no astronaut will ever travel so far with the technology we now possess. Sending a craft with nanotechnology to the Proxima b system is the purpose of the $100 million project known as the Breakthrough Starship Project. They will be projecting it with extraordinarily fast lasers, but a regular nanocraft would have taken much longer to get there. It will only move at a speed that is roughly 20% of the speed of light. In terms of speed, this would be an entirely human innovation. Therefore, the journey will now only take two centuries rather than thousands. The finding of planets like Kepler 452b, Kepler 186f, and others indicates that there exists habitable planets that are comparable to Earth. These are the only ones in our galaxy's quadrillions of objects. It is estimated that about 22% of the stars in our galaxy are the same size as the Sun. In 2012, studies suggest that it's possible for a planet the size of Earth to circle these suns. Do you think it is now estimated that 200 billion planets may be habitable similar to Earth? So that's what they concluded. Even if there is still much to discover and learn about, one thing is certain. There is always room for advancement in the field of space exploration. Events that surpass our expectations will always occur. It will be interesting to see how things play out because Proxima b is the nearest of all the stars. What do you think about the possibility that life from other planets may exist on the exoplanet Proxima b? Let us know in the comment section below. And while you do that, do not forget to give us a like, share, and do subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.